This tutorial will give you a little tour of the faculty certification from my courses. I'll talk about two things in this tutorial, the structure of the course and the structure of the modules. So this course contains nine modules. Within each module, you'll find information that will introduce you to new topics and instructions aligned to hands-on practice activities with accompanying video and step-by-step -step printable tutorials. Modules 1 through 4, those provide you uh, details you need to get started teaching a course that has been previously developed. You will experience the tools necessary to manage and modify existing items, communicate with students, and keep course information current. Modules 5 through 9 provide the details you need to add content to your course. This includes customizing your gradebook and creating assessments like quizzes, discussions, and drop boxes. After Module 4, there is a module called Next Steps. This module will provide a touch point to connect with your faculty facilitator. You'll activate your course and you'll also send an email to your faculty facilitator through the My Courses interface. When you've completed all the hands-on activities, there are some final steps you'll need to complete. These include to complete the faculty certification from My Courses checklist. You're going to do that yourself. You're going to complete the Certificate of Completion quiz so you can get a certificate. And then you're going to send an email to your faculty facilitator and attach your completed checklist. That's important because your faculty facilitator will then come back into the course and check off on all of the activities that you've done. So that's the structure of the course. Let me talk to you about the structure of the modules. What do the modules look like in this course? Well, to get to the modules, you have to click on the content tab on the nav bar, and then you'll click on lessons. When you get into the modules, you want to click on the name of the module within the table of contents panel to view the contents. Well, this item right here on the left hand side, this is the table of contents panel. So if I wanted to view, for example, Module 3, I go ahead and click on it. This will then take me into that module. So the first thing you want to do when you get to the modules is read the learning objectives. This will tell you exactly what you're going to be accomplishing within this objective. You should also remember that there is a link to connect with your cohort. This connect with your cohort is a set of a place where you can uh, set up a question or ask any kind of information, share information. As you scroll down through the module, there's a number of items that are in here. So within each module, you should be aware of a number of things to complete. What you're going to see is a read a short description about what you would be doing. So in this particular case, um, I'm going to be reading this short description and it's talking to me about navigating from a student perspective and achieving that. Then read this hands-on activity. Add the SPC demo student to your class list and view the course as an SPC demo student. So you're going to be doing all of this, all these activities right within your practice course. You don't have to go anywhere else. You'll see here that there is a video. Um, you could review the video or the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to complete these activities. And you may want to also review and print out the faculty certification from my course's checklist. That checklist is going to be residing in a number of places. So here's the checklist. And if I click on this, this should take me to the checklist. And I can open this up in Microsoft Word. It's a Word document. And you want to then go ahead and enable editing on the checklist. And this checklist will allow you to enter your, your name and the date. And then you can then checkbox the various things that you've done. And then you want to go ahead and save that onto your computer. So back to Module 3. So I can click on right here to add, how do I add a demo student? So I have these, all of these printable guides and I can just simply click on print to print these and you will go through and complete that particular activity. You'll continue on because there may be more than one activity within any one module and complete the next activity. 
And again, you're going to be completing those activities and doing the items right within your practice course. When you're done with one module, you click on the next module in the table of paying content. You may need to scroll up and can repeat the whole process again. If at any time you have any questions or any concerns, please contact your faculty facilitator.